morning to you on this beautiful Wednesday morning. The sun is shining out there and it's actually quite nice and warm. We got the windows open. I got Leanne in the background and actually I got Brenda here as well. Um, just sort of beating away and doing bits and pieces. How is everybody doing? Do let me know in the chat. How's the weather where you are? Um, I'm hoping just as good as here. We might even go for a, I'm just looking at Leanne over the uh, monitor, might even go for a cheeky walk, um, cheeky little walk later on, maybe at lunchtime, just to sort of get out and um, have a little walk right down on the seafront because it's beautiful. I did go for a very long walk last night. I did 6K and the tide was out and it was just beautiful, just really, really beautiful down there. Right, I'm so excited today. I got a very easy project for you, but they are just stunning. I'm just going to bring one colorway up and show you. I, <laughs> I have gone rather mad again. I have gone rather mad again with these because they are so easy to make. Really, really easy to make. And not along um, easy. They are very quick as well. So you can do a bracelet probably in about half an hour 45 minutes let's say depending on the size i guess what you're making and they are really because of the micro crystals they just give that little bit of sparkle on the top of them but i'm going to turn you down actually i'm going to pop you over to the website first and then i'm going to turn you down and i'm going to show you the samples in real life because and i have to say thank you to brenda allison and uh, linda actually because they helped me to make up all these beautiful samples i really wanted to show you because there's so much options with this kit um you can make up to 10 bracelets with it and um, depending obviously on the size you get so much in there um it's a really good make and simon graciously given us 20 percent discount on there so today it is a must have it's really really a must have. Just quickly saying good morning, Edward, Sarah, Heidi, good morning, Lucy, good morning, um, Elaine, good morning, Sue, Camille, Julie, good morning, Joyce here, good morning, Brenda, 4 a.m. here, Springfield, oh bless you, um, that's quite early, um, so, I'm so glad that um, you are watching us at 4 a.m. I guess. Tutu is here. Good morning. Di, Mina, Jane, good morning. Mina is saying morning kitty and everyone from sunny Leicester. Um, so it's probably like sunny all over the, the UK. Ronnie is saying good morning to Sue. Good morning. Lucy is saying so many gorgeous colors spoiled for choice. Right. So I'm going to pop you over to the website quickly and then show you the colors quickly on there and then I'm going to show you them in real life. So you're going to go over to the website. By now, you know the drill, what you need to do. Um, you know, go, you're going to go totallybeads.co.uk and there is this big button on the right hand side at the top, which has, says video tutorials, or you're going to go into categories and find video tutorials there, which is the third one from the top. And you're going to click on that. Now we got hundreds and hundreds of tutorials going back over a couple of years now and um i don't know i think we've done most of the techniques we probably haven't done all of them but we've done most of the techniques and we use so many different beads so many different sizes colors shapes um you know you name it like like we we, we did so many different lives so today is the alicia bracelet and i'm going to go into here now you know me <laughs> i couldn't contain myself again i have got 10 colors for you so <laughs> i just kept on going and going and going and keep putting the colors together so i'm gonna pop in to one of the colors let's pop into this starlight rose um really nice golds and oranges more sort of like a um like a, a paint of rose gold in there i guess but um not too strong like a burnt orange rather than a strong orange so in the kit you will get three different seed beads size eight you're going to get a clasp you're going to get 10 clasps you are also going to get five strands of the micro crystals so you can do all sorts of different things i just done straight colors i haven't mixed the colors but you can mix the colors as well within the kit so you can you can sort of do rainbow finishes ombre finishes really what you like so the price of the kits are made up of the seed beads as well this one is one of the more expensive ones actually because it's using those beautiful perma finish colors and and they are really really 
really lovely to work with so i'm going to pop into one of the other ones which one shall we go in let's go into the sapphire one because i like blue blue is one of my favorite colors as well so again um you get three different colors of your seed beads these ones are two of them are silver lined one of them is an iris color and five strands of the crystals again and it's going to make you so many different days braces but there is like i just done three but there is so many different variations. You can add the crystals on the top of the different colors. And it's re really it's up to you how you want to mix them and how you want to make them. So I'm going to come back and I'm going to turn you down onto the mat. And I'm going to show you these samples in real life because they are really, they're really lovely. So we are here. Let's go. Table half ones. There we go. So I lined them up because <laughs> it would be a long time here just sort of trying to put everything out. And I'm going to bring them up to you and I'm going to show it to you um, what they look like. So the first one, I'm going to go in the order how they on the website as well. So the first one is the Autumn Iris, which is a beautiful color. Um, you get three different colors of seed beads in there and the crystals, five, five different colors of crystals, you can do all sorts of different variations. I love colors like this because they are... I call them like muted colors. They kind of like go with everything, like the taupes and browns and and all that sort of colors. Now, the next one is the amethyst, which is, and actually, I think I made a mistake here because that, <laughs> that one, that bracelet, this one is with the aluminum iris. So you get that darker brown color in there as well. I picked up the wrong one from the mat. So that's the aluminum iris. And this one is the amethyst. Again, you get this beautiful purples and you got the taupey color in there as well. The next one is, I'm guessing, going to be Lucy's favorite, 100%. <laughs> you can all guess what color is this, but it's going to be the crystal mauve. So here we got crystal colors and it's going into the pink and the mauve as well. Again, you could put the pink on the more sort of the silver lined color, or you could put um, the silver lined onto the pink colors as well. Next one is the frosted one here. I love this. This is your darker sort of neutral colors. Again, you got your silvers, you got like a darker, almost like an earthy, like there is a hint of brown in this one but it's more grayish color. And then you got a frosted black as well. So very frosted look. I can say that this is somewhat more unisex color, this one, because obviously we, they are frosted. The, the seed beads are frosted and it's only the crystals that will sparkle on the top. Next one is the Lilac Nebula. So we've got this beautiful lilac and nebula colors in here. Three this sort of different seed beads, your purples and your blues are coming through in this kit. Next one is the lime, lime mojito. <laughs> Leanne called it. We need a pina colada one, Leanne. <laughs> we, do. we do. We need a pina colada one. But this one is called the lime mojito so your greens and your greens going from the line and and more of like a sort of a grass foresty green to an olivey green color as well now don't forget ladies you can stack these bracelets up so for example when i'm saying stack what i mean i'm just going to grab the pink one out, a pink one out of the pink and you could wear the two together just like that and they would look gorgeous if you're wearing clothes like which has got the lime green and the pink in it they would look really nice together right next colorway is the milky peach now this is the colorway i'm going to demo it and i'll show you this last actually because i want to show you all the different crystals and the seed beads as well next one is the capri peridot capri as leanne called it so you got like a c4 green a teal and the tealy color and another color which is sort of like more um, a dark azure aqua color in there as well again crystals when I was choosing the crystals I tried to choose some which is kind of like will blend in but I equally try to choose a couple of colors in there in each one of the kits which then they're going to stand out as well so you can do so many different things um, so many different color variations with this. Right. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is going. I'm going to have to take a sip of my coffee. 
So the next one is going to be the sapphire. I love sapphire. I love blues. I do wear quite a lot of blues. So this one from going from a, a very light one to a medium and, and a darker color blue in there as well. Again, crystals, you're going to have anything from the silver to light to darker blue in there as well. So again, you can make loads of nice com color combinations. And last but not least is the Starlight Rose. I love this color. I love this kind of like rose goldy burnt orange color in there. That you got a shiny and a matte finish in the gold. Um, again, giving you crystals from very light to darker ones. So you can either blend the crystals in so they almost disappear or you can make them stand out. So that's our color ways. Now, I'm going to zoom in one more so you are, I can show you this colorway, which is the Milky Peach, which I'm going to be demoing with. And this has got three different colors of seed beads in there. So you get a beautiful luster color. You get this milky finish. Like It's a really beautiful rose um, color in there. And then you get... I call this rose gold um, color more than anything because it's got that beautiful hint in there. It's more pinky. Um, if you do look at the website, this is the one which is called rose gold on the website, which is more gold. I like this more because it's got that beautiful um, pink in there. And then we have got five strands of this beautiful crystal. So again, I try to choose something kind of like from light to dark in there. So you can really have a good mixture. But <laughs> as always, I was standing there for at least a couple of hours, picking up the beads, putting them down, picking them up again to really make you a perfect sort of mixture in there. And I'm going to lift these up just in a sec so you can see them in closer. But we've got something which has got like sort of half pink and half green. we got a nice and creamy color. we got an autumn rainbow. We also have, this one is really beautiful, again, like a pink. And it has got sort of golds and tills coming through it <clears throat> and lovely bronze at the back. So I'm just going to bring this up. I love these micro crystals. I really do. I <laughs> have been playing around with them quite a bit and using them in a few bits of pieces. So they will be coming up, um, coming up in designs quite a bit, but they, I just love how they sparkle. Just look, they're just so, so nice. They just catch the light so nicely. Um, they're just beautiful. They're just really, really beautiful. So I'm just going to grab some thread and shall we get started with the demo. I'm also in need, which I didn't put here yet. I also need a some clasps. Oh, I got these ones. I'm just gonna use these ones. I found I found one on my desk. I don't think if this is the right color <laughs> color clasp um, for the kit, but never mind. I'm just gonna use those ones. Um, they will be fine for the demo. Because I have been because I've been doing all of this in the lounge. I have to admit, I've just been sitting there on the sofa watching something on the telly and I really enjoyed just sitting there and making all of these beautiful samples up. Not all of them because Linda, Brenda and um, Alison did help me, but um, I have done quite a few of them. So which color shall we demo with? Shall we do, because I like this rose gold so much, I'm going to do this color and then I'm going to choose the crystal as well. So we could do a large crystal on the top we could use this one, I think. I'm not gonna like I, when I when I'm designing something and putting colors together, and then when I'm actually making up the samples, I usually just put the materials and especially the multi pack like this because you're gonna be making so many bracelets. I just put it down on my mat and have a look. And actually, each one of those crystals I go goes quite well with this. Um, with this seed bead, so it's really hard to choose. But if it's hard to choose which one I want to put on. I kind of like put it all with it. I'm just pull it down a bit and then actually let's let's spill some beads out because you will be able to see it better. I kind of like put the beads out on my mat. There we go. And then I just add the crystal on the top and I just see which one's going to sit the best with it. And if I can't decide like which one is the best, then I'm going to start to decide which one I think 
is like wouldn't look as good as, as the other one and start to eliminate the colors which are on the mat. So I'm going to take this one rainbow away, I think, um, because the other suits most. And then I'm kind of like going to go in and um, and go for, I, I kind of like this bronzy look as well, but equally I like this um, sort of nude color on the top, but I think the bronze would be better. So I'm going to take the nude out. So we've got three more contestants here. I quite like this color more on the top than this one. So I'm going to take this constant. I can't talk now. I need a sip of my coffee. Contestant out as well. So I'm down to two colors now. To really choose from so we could either use this beautiful bronzy color which i think i'm gonna go for that or this one but i'm gonna let you choose between these two so let me know which one let me just move this over a bit let me know which one and i'm gonna zoom in a bit more let me know which color shall we put on the top so shall we put this beautiful pink rainbow or shall we put the bronze on the top of these beads you let me know in the chat and we're going to use those crystals on the on the in the um, mic as well elaine is saying the bottom one yeah keep on coming and we'll go with the majority thank you so much for the stars maxine really really appreciate it um and elaine is here camille joanne is here good morning to everybody else if i didn't mention you earlier um debbie good morning jackie leslie Sue, Bridget, Charlotte, good morning, Heidi, Joanne, Camille, you seeing Starlight Rose, she likes the Starlight Rose, I know Camille really likes the sort of yellows and mustards and, and oranges, so I, I, I knew that was going to be your colour. Um, Lucy's saying, wow, they're all nice, yeah, I love them all, this is the thing, I couldn't stop myself, but to keep going and doing more and more colours, and good morning Ruth, um, lovely to see you here. Sorry, good morning. Um, right, okay, so I'm back down. I'm gonna go back down the bottom and um, let's have a little bit of count up. So, Elaine said bottom one, Heidi said top one. Um, <laughs> I need the other hand to count as well. Um, pink rainbow, so that's that's the bottom one. Um, brown shows up more, so we are 2 2 at the moment. Bronze will help us see T three to four the bronze pink rainbow three three at the moment pink rainbow four um <laughs> bronzes so we are four and four head and head <laughs> pink rainbow five good morning Diane from Florida good morning um Kalyan she likes the bronze one as well so we are five and five at the moment um green do do you mean Pauline the green at the bottom or uh, what what sort of a good morning so we five and five um uh, the next one whoever says the next color i'm gonna go with that one um because we five and five we, we, we like karen said pink rainbow we're gonna go with the bottom one we're gonna go with the pink rainbow right i love this i really do love this but this is shows you like we all like different <laughs> Kim is saying you're running out the fingers absolutely might have to get my toesies to, um, to start counting with them too. Oh, right, I'm going to take these off, the crystals, and just like park them on the side of my mat here. So I'm ready to add them onto, and I'm going to move the seed beads out as well so you can we'll be able to see what we are doing. So we're going to start by the clasp. And this is why I love making something like this, because you start at one end, you work your way all the way to the other end, and then um, you finish your bracelet off. So I'm going to start by, I'm going to pick up one um, size eight seed bead. Just zoom in a tiny bit more. And I'm going to go through the loop on the clasp. I'm going to take both of these down, then I'm going to come back through that size eight seed beads so i'm going but this is my tail end i'm going back towards my tail end i'm going to pull this up i'm going to wrap that around my finger there so i can hold it nice and tight now i'm going to pick up two more size eight seed beads i'm going to go back down the same size eight i was coming out of and i'm going to go through the loop of the class at the same time as well there we go I'm going to pull this up now i'm going to tap on the top here 
just sort of tap on the beads until they're going to go ahead and they're going to sit side by side. There we go. Then I'm going to go up and I'm going to go up into the single size 8 and one of the size 8s above. I'm going back up. Now next, I'm going to pull this nice and tight. Next, I'm going to go ahead and pick up two more size 8s. And I'm going to come down as I'm exiting. This is, this is my tail end here. But I'm exiting here on the right hand side. I'm going to come down on the left hand side. And I'm going to come through the single seed bead. And go through the loop of the clasp one more time. And I'm going to pull this up nice and tight. Again, just making sure it sits nicely. Just tightening it up. And then I'm going to go back up into the single seed bead and I'm going to run up on the right hand side. I'm going to go through both of the beads on the right hand side to get to the top. And now I'm going to let my tail end go because I got enough bead work to hold on to there. So from here I'm going to pick up two more seed beads. And this time I'm not going to go back down to the clasp, but I'm just going to come through two of the seed beads on the left hand side, just like that. And then I'm going to turn straight back around. I'm going to pick up a crystal, any crystal, and I'm going to go through three of the seed beads on the right hand side. So we kind of like doing squares, looping round and round and round. I'm going to make sure the crystal sits on the top. And then I'm ready to add the next section. So I'm going to pick up two more size 8 seed beads. I'm going to come down through two of the beads on the left. Make sure they're sitting right. I'm going to pick up a crystal. And I'm going to go up through three seed beads on the right. So I'm exiting out of this bead here. I'm going to jump straight across and go up to three seed beads on this side. And pull this up nice and straight. And I'm just going to keep on continue doing this. So picking up two seed beads, coming down through two on the left hand side, going up through three on the right hand side. And that's what we're doing all the way along. So something like this, what I love about it, it's kind of like a no brainer, because even if you put it down, you know where you are and you know where you need to be and you know what's going to be the next step um, for you and what you have to do. Lucy just popped the link in there for us um, in the chat, so do go and have a look. So I'm just going to carry on and build a length for this bracelet, doing the same thing over and over, picking up two size eights, coming down two beads on the left hand side and then going up three beads on the right hand side. And there we go. And I'm going to keep on going. Now I do like to hold on to the end of my beadwork here only for the only reason because I don't want the thread to get caught on the crystals before. So I kind of hold, <laughs> hold it out on my on my way and going up to three on this side. So we want to add the crystals all on one side, but how beautiful is that? Just a little crystals sparkling on the top. Any good morning? Sorry if, if I missed anybody or called anybody out. Sometimes the chat can go so quick. And I'm coming down on this side, picking up a seed bead and going up to three beads on this side. And I'm going to keep on going. Picking up two, coming down two. Picking up a crystal, going up through three beads. It kind of reminds me, this, this sort of style of bracelet. Or, well, I, I guess you can have loads of different bracelets. But it kind of reminds me of like a tennis bracelet. Because you got a lovely row of crystals here, and then you have got the beautiful beads underneath it, and they're just going to sort of shine through. And they're quite strong because you're going through these beads a lot. So that's why we're going down to two beads, not just one. 
So you're going through each one of those beads quite a bit. So they will be, it will be a really nice and strong bracelet. Morning, Margaret. She said, so delicate and so sparkly. Oh, yeah, I, I, I love it too. But it's not too bad because we're using size 8 seed beads. So it kind of grows quite quickly as well. And um, we can make a bracelet. Like it probably takes me like half an hour to 45 minutes. <laughs> Depending of how much extra distractions I have when I'm sitting down and I'm making them. But I really, I really enjoyed and I really, really enjoyed making these ones and um i have to admit <laughs> many of these is probably gonna end up upstairs in my jewelry box i do love sometimes less is more you know like sometimes a simple design is just it's just so nice to wear because you can wear it for anything so i really do love it and the beauty of making your own jewelry and your own bracelet is that you make it to the size to like you know the more comfortable for most comfortable for you you know same question are crystals sitting in the middle of tahoe please they are kind of like sitting on the top so we're adding them as we go along we're not coming backwards and forwards with our beadwork we are adding it as we go along and that's why i love you start at one end and then you go all the way through and you kind of finish at the other end so you don't need to come backwards and forwards on your bracelet you're just making up as you go along and if you just joined us we are working with size 8 seed beads and micro crystals there are some kits on the website they have got 20 percent off um, on them today and you make up to 10 bracelets with each one of the kits so you get five strands of the micro crystals and three bags of this beautiful beautiful seed beads size 8 seed beads i really spend a lot of time just sitting there and um, adding all the colors together and hence <laughs> that's why you have got 10 colors on the website so ones to suit everyone you can mix and match and you can wear them in um in a stack also if you really if you wanted to you got enough crystals of each one of the colors to make like a double wrap bracelet so if you wanted to i love double wrap bracelets so if you wanted to have it like a little bit longer, then you could you could do that as well. But there's plenty in there. Natalie's saying they do look simple and elegant. Think even I could do this stitch. Oh, Natalie, I'm going to have to challenge you on that one. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, I'm going to have to challenge you. Lisa is saying, I use this method for bales when I have encapsulated a cap and I can use the same colors. Absolutely. This, this, the idea of this actually came for me, came from, and actually I got it here on my desk. I can show it to you. So in Creation Station, which I do on my channel, which is going to be tonight at 7 p.m., um, we have been playing around with some beautiful off-center pearls. And when we were, we added a... a beautiful rivoli in there as well and then when we were doing the top I was thinking like you know how can we do a nice bell which is still using the beads um how like you know what what you have in in there and um I'll show you at the end we came up like together collectively I guess because that's the whole point of creation station that you're bidding together we came up with the bell and then I looked at the bell and I got really excited afterwards because straight away I was thinking of these beautiful crystals and I sat here <laughs> and I made a bracelet up um, that night and um, it was just nice. It was nice. Sometimes like just by using a different bead can make uh, a lot of different and, and just it's really nice to really nice to experiment. And then sometimes it just it just comes together. It just feels right. It just works right. So I got a couple of inches. I'm gonna keep on going here. Um, I love. I really do love this stitch. I love herringbone stitch, and I love making something which is kind of like simple but stunning at the same time. Um, you so you don't have to think much about it. Very easy technique. You can just sit there, and this this. These sort of techniques are perfect as well if you're beading with friends and 
you chatting and nattering away and <laughs> putting the word to right and you can still do your beadwork because you don't have to concentrate on a pattern itself as such because it's pattern repeat so once you familiarize yourself with a couple of stitches um, sort of stitching up and down you will be doing the same thing over and over again all the way throughout the bracelet and there we go Um, Dan is saying love a, the, a wider bracelet, so double wrap would be good as well. But you can stack them up, so you can wear more than one at a time. And if you stack them up, like what's the, like for me, something like this, because we've got so many different colors. So along the 10 kits, you could be making, each one of the kits, you could be making like 10 different colors, because the color combination, there's five five different crystals in each one of the kit and five different colors so you could be making so many different color combinations then then if you're wearing a top like i'm wearing today a black and white one i could put a black and white bracelet on at the same time so to kind of have have the colors coming through if you're wearing if you got a top which has got like pink let's say teal and blue in it you could put a pink teal and a blue bracelet on to really have those colors coming through in your jewelry as well um what's what's in your what's in your clothes to so kind of like match it so you could if you got all 10 kits you could make a 100 different bracelet and if you are selling your jewelry or doing craft fairs or doing anything you know school fairs school fairs and hopefully in the summer we have some country shows um you could be you know you could be really you could be making quite a bit on it because some of the kits, the kits, the price of the kits depends on the seed beads, what they, what sort of seed beads they are in there. But some of the, most of the kits are eleven ninety nine, so that's like $1.99, 11 .99 divided by ten, so it's one pound and ten pence for a bracelet, and I think. You can't go wrong with that and especially like you know something like this you could you, you you if you're selling it it could be you know it doesn't look like a one pound and ten pence bracelet it looks much much more expensive than that that's why i love something like this a simple make but you still the no, one pound 20 not 10. i'm i'm not good with the mats <laughs> first thing in the morning so on Lucy saying, I'm going to type here. I can't even see comments on Facebook. Yeah, some might, might be something happening on Facebook when you know they they do their updates and then it takes a couple of weeks for everything else to catch up and all the programs and everything else. I can see your comments. Like I hope I hope I might can see it. But um everybody's comments. If if I haven't responded to them, perhaps I haven't seen it and there is a problem on Facebook. But um, it looks like comments are coming through. Yelena is asking a question. How big are the crystals, please? Difficult to just do. Yes, they are the new micro crystals. They are two millimeters. So they are a size of size 11 bead, which is. And what I love about these micro crystals, but I got so excited when they come in. And <laughs> not just because they are beautiful small crystals, but the first thing when I do, when we get new beads in, I kind of like test the bead. And the way how I test crystals and the way how I test small small beads as well, because sometimes you can have a, a small two millimeter bead, but you're only able to put your needle through maybe two times. And then using it for a woven project is not so great because sometimes you have to go through the same bead more than twice. And um, when I tested this, these crystals i use super long size d thread i tested it with size 11 needles so that's the um the needle which has got the blue sort of marking on the top and i was able to go through it five or six times and then i tested it with the size 10 needle which has got the black bit on the top and i was able to go through the crystals four or five times so it's the whole size on them is actually quite generous and we you will be able to use it for a lot of different 
a lot in, in stitching in a lot of different um, lot of different patterns. So I am really happy and I really want to use them more and more because you can wove them in and use them just like here and there. You could use it instead of a size 11 seed bead and it just gives you the extra sparkle in your design. So I really do love them. Lucy saying pink is my, is in my basket. Well, Lucy, who would have thought you're gonna you're gonna go for the pink? Who would have thought? Not me. <laughs> Leanne, did you think Lucy's gonna go for the pink? Oh yes. Well, Leanne says she yes she knew she's you knew gonna go for the pink. Brenda, what do you think? Yeah, we said it before we even went live. Lucy's gonna like this. Ah. <laughs> Minnie's saying she wants this colour. I want all of the colours. Oh, saying she wants all of the colours. You're going to be busy, Billy, and making 100 bracelets. I know. Early Grapers has got my money. I'm like, I still don't know what ones I'm having. <laughs> she's already paid for it, but she doesn't know what colour she's having. Oh, bless. Oh, they are lovely. They are. And they, like... For me, like I do design a lot of jewelry and, and I do and I love absolutely love making all different patterns and using all sorts of different beads. But I have to be honest with you, something like this, which is like simple but elegant, is what I love the most. And and you would catch me wearing these bracelets the most. I'm I'm not um like you know, I always wear earrings, like I, I always I feel I feel my ears are naked without earrings. I always wear earrings and most of the time I wear bracelets too. So something like this is just it's just perfect. Like really, really perfect. <laughs> Lucy's saying, love everyone, love um how everyone knows I'm a princess pink beads. Oh, bless you. We all love pink. See the thing is that like when like on my bead making journey a long, long time ago, like I kept going for the same colors, which would have been blues and teals, um, not so much pink, but like aquas, definitely 100%. And it's only been the last, I guess, five, six years when I've been like, like obviously for work, like I make up all sorts of different colors. But I have been starting to wear, and, and like you see in my wardrobe as well, like if you looked up my wardrobe five, ten years ago, it was like blue, like jeans and, and sort of other, other blue navy items, lighter blue, um, a couple of white tops and loads of black. Had some teal and, and then, or, or, or sort of that sort of bluey colors, but that would be it. But now I think, not along sort of my taste changes, but I got a lot of sort of olive color clothes. I got a lot of um, like all sorts of different colors now. And and the same in my jewelry as well. I do love experimenting with, I really do love the olives and golds and bronzes and, and all sorts of different colors. So sometimes it's the proportionate amount what you put in a certain color into a project what makes it look really great and for example like using orange with teal you don't have to use too much orange to overpower the teal but if you just use a tiny bit of orange in the teal it really makes the teal shine up even more and I think it's just you know it's just it's just playing with colors <laughs> really like you know that I feel like a five-year-old kid again with the coloring pencils um when I sit down and, and play with all of these colors Right, I probably need to add another couple of inches and then we are there and we can add the other clasp. I'm trying to kind of like bead as fast as I can here, but we're definitely going to get through and add the clasp on the other end. So it's quite a quick make. I love when we can start something, chat for 20 minutes <laughs> at the beginning of a live and then we will still have time to make or bracelet or necklace or earrings or but whatever we're making i love i love sometimes to have a more of a quicker make so if you just joined us i am working with these beautiful kids we call the alicia although it had many different names not yesterday afternoon and we're trying to name it like what we're gonna and what we're gonna name it um we named the alissa um it was 
the M wanted to name it Stella, and then we had all sorts of different ideas coming up. Yeah. I, lo I love when we just sit here and we have like really a proper giggle over names and like, and it's like, oh no, it doesn't, it does for me, it doesn't look like a Stella at all. Like, you know, and yeah, talking about the jewelry is like a real person, but it's, it's, it's a really, it's really good fun. So Alisa is, and um, we are having 20% off on the website on these kits at the moment. One kit will make you 10 bracelets, up to 10 bracelets, obviously depending on size. Um, you get 10 clasp in there, you get three different colors of the seed beads. You have five different colors of these beautiful micro crystals. You can add needle and thread if you need to. Um, to your basket. I am using a size 10 needle today and super long size D and it's a herringbone stitch, a two bit herringbone stitch what I'm doing. The kits come with a PDF as well. You can um, you can choose that. that you can um, get a, a printout or it's sent digitally. comes with a PDF. Very, very easy technique and the bracelet grows quite fast so for me i can make one probably about half an hour 45 minutes and um it's just it's just i love sometimes i love doing something more sort of simple like this so i just pick up two beads as i'm exiting on the right hand side i'm gonna go down two beads on the left hand side and i then gonna go ahead and pick up a crystal and I'm going to go up through three beads on the right hand side. So I'm just doing these little squares, sort of squaring around my beads here. And as I'm going along, I'm always picking up two size eights, going down two beads, picking up a crystal, going up three of the size eights on the other side. And just keep on going and going and going until I have my desired length. Now you can make single bracelets or you got enough crystals in there to make like a double wrap bracelet as well. Obviously then you're not gonna make 10, you're gonna make less bracelets, but the option is there for you. The crystals are full length strands, so you could be making double wraps. I love this color of crystal on the top here, really how it's sort of coming through and sparkling. Because in this one, you have got pink, but you also got a bit of navy blue, I think. The base color of this little micro crystal is navy blue, Montana blue, and then they plate it with sort of like a, a pink rainbow finish on the top. It's a really beautiful crystal. So each time I'm just picking up two, going down two, picking up a crystal, going up three. There we go. And I'm going to, I'm just going to quickly pop this down on my mat and sit for size against another bracelet. Let's see against this pink one here. So just see how many more do I need? I need probably about six or seven sets and, and that will be the length of the bracelet I need. So I'm always adding two, picking up Going down to picking up a crystal, going up three. Now, if you do have a question, please pop a, a cue in front of your question so I know you that question is for me. And if you have put it in before and I missed it, I'm really sorry. Would you be able to pop it in the chat right now so I can look after it? I can see. I mean, he's asking for discount. There's a twenty percent discount on there today, and that will be. I'm not sure how much stock of these we got. So I think we got, the crystals only came in last week, but they are selling quite fast. They are quite popular because they are beautiful to work with. So have a look, do have a look. I'm going down on these and then going up on three, picking up a crystal, going up three. I'm just gonna keep on going until I added, oops. And it's dropping the beads now until I have it enough length. Hi Judith. <laughs> Judith saying I'll be watching from the beginning later. Very late today. The bracelet looks lovely. Yes, yeah, so once we finish, you can go back and watch from the beginning. Very easy make today, Judith. Just a two-bit herringbone stitch with the added step, adding a crystal on the top. We are using size eight seed beads, so it does grow quite quick as well. 
I'm just let me just add this crystal and then I'm actually again I'm gonna pop it down on my mat and I'm gonna measure the bracelet against the pink one because I think we pretty much coming up to the right size let me just zoom out so you can see as well so I'm just sort of measuring my bracelet which is here against the one which I know this one is the perfect size for me so I need to add another one two three sets and then we are good we are good to finish off after three sets so this is one picking up two going down on two and picking up a crystal going up to three on the right hand side i kind of like saying right hand side but i i always kind of like hold it in an angle so it's like easier for me to stitch up and down and don't have to turn my base that back foots and forwards another crystal i think i'm just gonna have enough thread at the end to sew this off another two seed beads and the crystal so we are on the other end and we're gonna do the clasp so I'm gonna go ahead I want to match this side to be exactly the same as the other side as well so when you look at it it's kind of look like the bracelet is is like just a continuous length so I'm gonna pick up one seed bead and I'm gonna go through the loop on the clasp quite simply I'm gonna let this go down and then I'm gonna go back to the single seed bead and I'm, as I'm coming out of this bead here, I'm going to go into the other side and I'm going to go through two seed beads there. Then, pull this up nice and tight, I'm going to pick up a crystal and I'm going to come up to two seed beads on the other side, the single seed bead and the loop of the clasp. So you see we're going to be going through the loop of the clasp quite a few times. Then I'm turning again going through the single seed bead and I'm going to go through one of the seed beads just here. I'm going to pick up another crystal, one more crystal, and I'm going to go down that single one, that, that, um, the, the pair of this, this, this last set and then the single one. And then I'm going to go through the loop on the clasp again. Now to add your final crystal, you're going to have to turn around. So I'm going to go back up and it doesn't really matter how many seed beads you're going to go back up through. I'm going to go through a single one. I'm going to turn to A side. I'm going to go, let's say I went up four. You could go up to three or five. It doesn't really matter. Then I'm going to cross over in this crystal. I'm going to go back up the four seed beads there. And I'm going to pick up a crystal now. And I'm not going to go into my clasp. I'm going to straight jump to the other side and go back on myself. So I just went through three beads. Again, doesn't matter. You could be going through two, three, four, five beads. Again, I'm going to cross over in this crystal. And finally, I've got a very small thread left here. But I'm going to go back up on the other side. I'm going to go through the single seed bead and the loop on the clasp. And the loop on the clasp. I'm going to turn to the back of my bracelet. I'm going to come back through the single seed bead. I'm going to do a one thread knot, a half hitch knot here. So I'm going to go in and catch these threads in between the beads there. So I'm not going through a bead, I just stitched into those threads, but underneath or in between those two beads. I'm going to pull this through. And as I'm pulling this through, you're going to see a little loop appearing. I'm going to take my needle through this little loop before it disappears. And when I pull this tight, you can see there's a little knot is going to be forming on the top of those threads. And then quite simply, I'm just going to take my thread and I'm going to take it through quite a few beads. I, I like to leave, like, you know, just in case if it comes back up, I like to leave probably about a couple of two, three inches I like to weave into the bracelet. So I'm just going to take it through a few more beads. That's it. Pull it nice and tight. And I'm ready to trim this end off. And then one end is completely done. I'm going to cut my bobbin off the other end. I'm going to add my needle to it. 
here and I'm and here I'm going to repeat the same thing. So here our thread is facing towards the bracelet. So I'm going to run up a few beads. And actually, let, let's do it. We got time. We got plenty of time, so we can we can finish off this end as well. Oh, Margaret, say how on earth do I decide which colorway to choose? Whichever colorway you like. I think when it comes to um choosing colors i or or, or, or any colors um i always kind of like think of what sort of clothes i have in the wardrobe and try to go for those colors and then he's saying we'll be getting more colors in the micro crystals diane we have got i think about 80 colors at the moment <laughs> so I, i'm not sure um we see if that if there is a factory factory do more colors then quite possibly um, the seed beads are size 8, what I've been using, so it's a nice and quick make. Oh, good morning, Jo. Um, she said, sorry, I've missed it. Missed it's beautiful. You can watch it back later, lovely. Right, so I'm going to go up through, let's say, let's go up to three beads on this side. And then I'm going to turn and I'm going to come back through the three beads on the other side. I'm going to go through a single bead. And once again, I'll just wiggle the end out, I'm going to go through the loop on the clasp as well. Just like that. I'm going to go back through the single seed bead. Let me just turn this. I'm going to work on the back of the bracelet. So I'm going back to that single seed bead. Again, I'm going to do a half hitch knot here. So I'm just going to catch the thread paths in between those beads before this loop disappears I'm just going to take my thread through it and then just going down a few beads taking my tail in tucking it right in and then I'm ready to cut this end off and I have got my bracelet made I'm just going to pop it on for you and show you how nice it looks. Oh, come on. There we go. And it just looks really, let me zoom out a tiny bit so you can see most of my wrist. So there we go. It's a nice little bracelet to kind of like wear and you can you can stack it up so with this one like depending on what other clothes I'm wearing like you know I could put this one next door to it or put a more sort of silvery one with it as well that would go as well and and have maybe maybe an, a gold as well so you could really stack it up and wear loads of different colors together I really do love um, how simple it is and actually how how quick it is um, <laughs> Danny's saying, Kitty, you only 10 colors to choose on site. Yes, I'm so, so sorry. You know me. I just like, I love my colors. And, um, <laughs> I, I'm, down to five so far. oh, Leanne said she's, she's narrowed it down to five. Like, let me come and zoom out one bit. And I'm, I'm quickly going to show you the colors again. Um, what you, what we have on the website. So we have got, oh, hold on, I have to see the names, aluminum iris which is these beautiful colors and that's that one aluminum iris so don't forget each kit makes 10 bracelets up to 10 bracelets or you can do double wraps as well get three different colors of the seed beads and then you also get five colors of the crystals in there then you have got the next one is the amethyst which is this beautiful amethyst colors the next one you have, I want the crystal up way. I just don't want to just wanna put it down. I want I want it to sit nice here. There we go. The next color we have is the crystal mauve. Lucy's favorite, of course. Um, so we have got crystal colors to pinks to to mauve color in this one. The next one is the frosted colors, and these are the silvers. It's sort of a dark gray and a black color. I really do love this one will go with everything around this is like 
sort of like my like black diamondish color um i really do love that bracelet i think this one was leanne's favorite as well lilac nebula is the next which we got lilacs and blues together the next one is the lime mojito and this one has got a lime green also has got a this, this is the seed beads the crystals you have got five colors in there so i got like an uh, a medium green and and then like an olive green as well and then we're, we're running out of space we need to we need to move these guys down a bit um <laughs> we got more to come the next one is the sapphire blue i love 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 these colors there we go this is like you could like make all this up and it could be like a pick and mix <laughs> i would love to just sort of have a pick and mix with these and the next one oh i'm uh, the i have missed the peridot capri i'm sorry and it's the, this is the sea foam utility color it's really really love this color i'm just getting rid of those threads yeah, at the top our uh, brand is saying this is her favorite as well and last but not least is the starlight rose so this is our colorways and i'm obviously the one i was working with today which is the milky beach so this is our lineup today you got 10 different colorways each colorway will make you 10 bracelets so you can pick and mix you can wear like certain colors with other colors um really it's up to you i kind of like this this one the gold and the silver and this this together as well very nice let me just bring it up so you could you could do all sorts of different things or wear those three. Oh, look at that where the <laughs> that sort of aluminium silvery color the gold and, and an iris brown that would look really nice as well it's the possibilities are endless you could wear it either way you yeah, like to wear it oh brandon just made a really good point over there she said that you could do a bracelet and then you could do like a little bit longer so you could make an anklet as well to match it this is saying i want them all right my lovelies that is for me this morning i am back on tonight on my channel which is kitty robinson designs what, what am i playing with leanne tonight oh, <laughs> she's just gonna have a look i'm just like uh, at the moment i am uh i've got like so much things on that my it's brain is thing. like a like a, a sieve completely yes. Glass bike, glass bike beads, oh, the glass bike on beads. Mm, I'm looking forward to those ones. They are really good. Can you pass it over? It's on your desk. They are really good because they have. Oh, and I need to show you the pendant as well. They have got um, this beautiful finish on them. So they are glass beads, but they have got the silver lining on them. Um, in right in the middle so i'm really looking forward they eight millimeters so they're a little bit larger than what we normally work with but i'm really looking forward what sort of stitch what we can come up to incorporate these into into a design and what i wanted to show you is the pendant we worked on last week which is this one which the bell is let me just bring it in a bit more the bell is what given me the idea to do all these bracelets and sometimes when i have something in my mind like you know i find something and i really really like it i just like i have to do it there and then because like um, i get I'll, I'll get way too excited about it. so this is what we did on creation station last week um using the off center pearls right everybody have oh can braid them Oh, Patricia, that's such a good idea. So if you make them a little bit longer, I don't see why not. You couldn't braid these together and have a, a like, you know, a, a beautiful braid. I'm, I'm not really good at braiding with one hand, but I'll try. Um, I would have to um, put this down and maybe pin it down as I go along. But you could braid them and you could braid them even tighter or looser. Um, however you wanted to but it would look really good like that as well thank you so much for the tip patricia right everybody have a beautiful day i'll see you tonight on creation creation station in mine otherwise i'll see you next week um and next week we're going to be doing a pendant um on wednesday at 10 a.m everybody now oh, diane is saying i need all colors um 
<laughs> they are rather they are rather lovely. I am I am quite tempted to pick a mess, pick a mix, and and sort of just make some disappear upstairs to my jewelry box. Those three are definitely gonna be going. They definitely gonna be going. I think the golds are definitely gonna be going up there. That I do love these aubergine colors as well. The blue is definitely going to be going, and these teal ones definitely going, <laughs> and the purple ones definitely going to be going. So there's not going to be much left down there. But I do I, I will have to leave some in the sample box. So, but then I like the greens and the pinks as well. But I can always make up more. Can you see like how nice putting all of them together? Right, everybody, have a beautiful day, a beautiful week, and I will be back next week. And um, we will be doing pendants or join me tonight on Kitty Robinson Designs. Bye, everybody. Bye.